Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute, I know. Let me explain. All right, so it's been a few weeks since I last went fishing. Or the last time I fished was the Florida Kayak Bass Trail Tournament out on Lake Istapova, where I skunked. And after that, I just kind of was feeling a little burnt out, a little irritated uh, with my performance and just overall kind of feeling like I needed to take a little bit of a break from fishing. And that's kind of what I've done. So for the last three weeks, I've been doing some other projects. And as you can see, my garage is kind of a mess. I've got woodworking projects. I've got bait making stuff strewn everywhere. I've got aquarium stuff because I have too many hobbies for any one person but i'm back now i'm trying to get back into fishing and i got a good phone call this morning saying that my new kayak was ready to pick up but what i need to do is get all of my equipment all my stuff out of my old kayak and get it ready for the transfer i think i've had a good break i've done some stuff to the side i've uh, spent some time with my wife also we had easter and everything also been trying to plan on building a house soon my wife and i currently rent our place. It's a nice house and everything, but I'm kind of getting tired of living in someone else's house and I would like to have my own. That is the millennial dream. I, I'm 30 years old. I feel like I should own my own house by now. Uh, we are planning on building a house and the exciting part about that is I will have very easy access to a fish pond that I would like to work on and make better. It, right now it's just an old farm pond. It's got very clear water most of the time. It's got a few bass, some bluegills, the occasional uh, oddball fish that somehow ended up in there. It's up in Northwest Florida. It's actually, if you've heard of uh, Bama Bass and his five acre pond, kind of a lot like that, except this pond was already built a long time ago. I would eventually like to move up there. Well, that's the plan anyways, is to move up there. But once the house is built and everything, kind of do a restoration series on the pond and make it into a, of a good fishing pond again. So that's exciting. And that's kind of like what's been going on these past few weeks when I haven't been uploading. I also picked up some uh, additional work on the side to kind of help pay for the house. So I don't know what the upload schedule is going to be like. We may not be hitting the weekly uploads. It may or may not happen. I don't know. I make videos when I go fishing. That's kind of how it's been lately. I know I got the bait making stuff. My mindset on it is uh, kind of just kind of focus on fishing right now. That seems to be what's doing well, especially when I go out to these really cool places like Lake Keenansville, Lake Toho, Headwaters Lake. Really great fishing destinations here in Florida. Uh, so a lot of people are searching for those. And that's kind of what I want to focus on as we get out of tournament season here in the next couple months. Hopefully we'll be doing a lot more fun fishing. We'll see how that goes. But right now we've got to focus on the kayak. I'll show you guys that whole process here. But first I got to clean up a little bit here in the garage. I got to get things organized. And then I need to take apart my old kayak get all my electronics and all my gear off of it and get it ready for the transfer. So let's go ahead and start working on that now. If you haven't figured out by now, I'm uh, taking this kayak in for a warranty. Basically just stripped it of all the things that I put on it. Got all my stuff off of there. Kayak is stripped of everything that could be useful on it. I'm going to uh, let them have my 
Tackle Warehouse sticker collection. Beyond that, this thing is pretty much ready to go. The only thing I'm waiting on now is for a pretty bad line of thunderstorms to pass by. I'm, I don't know what color it is, so I'm kind of excited. <laughs> the only color I told him I didn't want was the, uh, the seagrass green. So hopefully didn't get that color and we got something neat or one of the new camos. That would be cool, but we'll see. Y'all stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, that storm system decided to slow down. I think I'm going to hold off on getting my new kayak today. I'll go pick it up tomorrow. But yeah, you can see I got a mess here. I gotta sort through this. I gotta clean it up. There's weeds in there from like probably the day after I bought it. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's, I think that's gonna be it for today. And then we'll go pick up the new kayak tomorrow. Hey folks, we are loaded up and about to head over to the kayak shop and uh, check out our new boat. Almost get hit by something. Oh, no, I forgot the entrance to this place is ridiculous. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good hey, good morning. What we got? In the shop. Huh? Filming the shop. Oh, well, I'm getting my uh, replacement uh, Outback. Oh, um, Nathaniel Holly. Oh, okay. Warranty All guy. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I just came in yesterday. They gave you a camo. Sweet. Ain't nobody going to find me now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a nice unit. This basically has got everything on it. I don't have to like do much work on these mm -hmm. to get them ready for working. Pop your stuff on them. All right. Yeah. Where did yours, uh, you had an issue with? Split right here and it's hmm. split back here. Does yeah. yours have these type of rod holders? No. That's new. This is a new hole. It's 23. Nice. What year was yours? 22. Okay. So you got a newer year model. I ended up giving them. I ended up giving them a phone call, and they were. They what? They were. Um, they said that they had me down for a blue one, but they discontinued this color, so they weren't making anymore. Nope. And then I told. I told them I was like, I don't care what the color is. Just I just want a new kayak, you know. Yeah. So I see it split right here. Yeah, and then right. And it split right here. So did I sell you this one new? Yep. Yeah, it's got some fuzzies on it. You got a, no, that's not a crack, that's a weed. <laughs> There's another thing. <laughs> what is that for? Water, Water was coming in under that and yeah. getting in the hole. Yeah. And so I just sealed it up right there. <laughs>
already. I like the camo. Yeah, I like to... the camo better than that slate. <laughs> be able to hide from people now. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we got the uh, new kayak in, in tow. Ended up with getting a uh, old school camo color. It's really neat. Super excited about that. And uh, y'all come on over here to uh, Action Water Sports if you're looking for a kayak in Auburndale, Florida. They'll get you set up. Uh, they got all kinds of models. They got natives, hobies, and a few others, some wilderness systems and uh, that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a kayak, come over here and check out Action Water Sports in Auburndale, Florida. So yeah, I got a new kayak, technically a new kayak. I'm not gonna put you through me putting it back together the way it was and all other stuff. It'll just be just like taking it apart. The, the other one in reverse, uh, just take twice as long. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching today. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I really pre appreciate the continued support of the channel. Even though I haven't been uploading, it means a lot to me. And uh, thank you guys so much for that. But feel free to let me know if you have any questions on what this process was like for me. It'd be a little daunting doing the warranty stuff, especially when you're kind of at the mercy of the uh, the company that you bought the, com uh, the boat from. So feel free to let me know if you got any questions on that. Again, appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all have a good one. Bye.